Today on Hack 5, skateboards, skateboards, and a total f***ing hey. hack. We like to hack. Th this is a hack. And a complete success. <laughs> no, it really is. Okay, I know it doesn't look like much, but uh, this right here is a knockoff penny board. Mm. I love the penny board. Uh, it's small, it travels well. I mean, there's no reason not to. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I honestly thought I was going to kill myself on one of these the first time I ever used it. Uh, but you get used to it. And this knockoff, well, it's, it's a little bowy. It flexes. Yeah. It's but it's soft. but it's fun. It works. And this right here, this this is a knockoff uh, of like a boosted board. And well, this is what's left of it actually. We've <laughs> recreated it today. We're illustrating a quick and dirty build. And here's the specifications, the scenario, if you will. Glitch coming down to the Hack Five Studio, and then at the eleventh hour, realize like, hey, it'd be really fun to have an electric mini skateboard that you could easily strap to your backpack and keep on the airplane as a carry on and like whiz around Maker Fair. So we did just that. And what's really beautiful is that the two halves of this equation were on Amazon Prime. Did I mention the 11th hour thing? Um, so if you don't mind making some slight modifications to a $25 deck, uh, you actually The whole have, thing was out there $200. You got the beginnings of a half-ass hack, and I love this. I love this because it's a follow-up to last week when we were talking about a beautifully designed and thought-out drone that had purpose and it had very specific requirements. Mm -hmm. And it was. This is that. There was iterations involved. How long did Project Cuckoo take you from from concept to first flight? So six months, but I didn't really spend all of that working on it. I had some other projects going on, uh, but yeah, it didn't. Realistically, the hours spent it wasn't that much. This was one email and and and, and a buy it now and two hours of of maybe two hours hacking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally. I, I have to say the nice thing about this mod is that it is that apex of value and stupid simplicity, which is why I want to highlight it for you because you know you yeah you could spend the time designing a custom solution. And you know given the popularity of electric skateboards right now with their mass market toys and they're so available cheaper than you could build in a reasonable period of time, why not take advantage of that kind of scale? Uh, the nice thing about this electric skateboard is that it's stupid lightweight, and most importantly, here's the thing, it's certified. Because I know that we could build something stupid cool with lipo cells and you'd get to the TSA line at the airport and they'd be like, excuse no. me sir. That looks like something that shouldn't be on the plane. <laughs> right? <laughs> so the hope is that Glitch isn't going to have any trouble flying home with this guy. Uh, the other really nice thing is that the only thing you need to do this it's a Phillips head screwdriver, an Allen wrench, uh, a, a pocket knife, a drill. Like that's literally... That's, yeah, that's, not much more. I mean... Yeah. So I thought that would take a moment to highlight some of the fun of this hack. <laughs> step one. What was step one? Uh, removing the parts from the other board. No, st step one was, was being there, crazy enough to do this. Yeah. Yeah. The, a board that does where 11, did you, where 12... Where did you find this? Uh, I mean, I originally found the parts on Amazon. Well, eBay, but we ordered them from We didn't have Amazon. enough time for eBay. Yeah, we just Amazon primed them overnight. <laughs> did you add, like, was there any forethought in this particular board? Uh, it was cheap. It was small. 
it would fit in my backpack. That's or on my backpack at least. So yeah. the, the penny clone at least. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, 22 inches long, which just so happens to be the uh, one of the most common max lengths on carry-on luggage. Oh, brilliant. I wonder if the penny is actually designed that way just to go in the overhead bin. Maybe, perhaps. <laughs> hmm. Well, in any event, basically just remove the trucks off the two boards, and you would think it's as simple as swapping them, but you do have to put the battery pack in. Yeah, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit long, so we had to drill some extra holes for the front truck. Let me flip this guy around and scoot the whole front truck forward a bit so that we can get it to fit. And so. the trick with that is that you really want to make sure that your trucks are facing this direction. Yeah. Uh, this is a rear wheel drive electric skateboard. If we you were thinking you're being crafty by swapping it around to be a front wheel drive, you're going to be... Uh, Either turning inverted or crab walking, basically. You know, I invert mouse when I play an FPS, so... No, but this is lateral movement, so never yeah, mind. Your, your yeah, your brain wouldn't be happy with the, uh, with the things <laughs> really and stuff wouldn't. in the no. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the, the beautiful thing about this particular way of doing this build, because this has been done before with just like strapping it on with zip ties. It doesn't, the ones I've seen, they, I liked the idea, but they were just a little bit dirty. They didn't have the refined look that would potentially allow you to actually take this place as you needed to take it. Yeah, and nobody wants to catch glitch riding dirty. So what we did was we drilled extra holes here in the front to move the trucks up. That way everything could just get sandwiched in here. And and there you go. Uh, aside some literal hacking later with some pocket knives and... You just yeah. have to scrape down some. So I would just say this is like a successful build if you want a cheap thrill. Um, <laughs> You know, near death experience. Absolutely. You know, wear a helmet. But uh, what could go wrong, right? And I, I can think of a number of things. And well, I like the fact that it looks factory enough that you're going to be able to get this by the TSA without it. Especially, you know, with the nice UL hologram sticker that and says the, that it's flight it's ready. It's actually certified right there. There you go. So mm -hmm. it's not perfect, no. But for $200 and two hours of work. And it claims the battery, we haven't fully tested this yet, but the battery claims it'll do 11 miles, 10, 11 miles on. Uh, yeah, even if it does have that. Even if it does have that. Yeah, I would say the downsides are, I fear that this remote is using something yeah. like on-off king or frequency. The way it's or acting. ASK yeah. or, yeah, it's, it's definitely not Bluetooth or anything, which a yeah, pro and a con maybe, but there's definitely potential for a denial of skateboard attack here. We need to poke at it. Yeah, no, we <laughs> definitely need to be making all of the uh, cheap electric skateboards in a two mile radius start going berserk. No, what could possibly well, go We're wrong. not going to do that. We're not going to. So uh, <laughs> the brakes suck, the acceleration curve is terrible. Uh, we severely doubt that it'll do the advertised range, but despite all those flaws, dude. I love it. It's, it's really a cheap like thrill, it. it's fun. We wanna hear your <laughs> comments. What would make this better? Or sometimes, can you just marry two little things and make them happy? These, these two skateboards, they didn't know that they, they wanted to be together, but now they are. And they're happy. We should, we should and probably should we really just, judge them? We should, probably, each other? we should probably go ride this thing. Yeah, we're gonna go ride. Trust your technolist. Trust your technolist. Domain.com has all your website needs from .com and .net domains to intuitive website builders so you can take that first step in creating your online identity. Let me tell you, there's no domain extension like a .com or a .net, or if you want to brand yourself, Domain.com has over 300 domain extensions like .club and .space. These guys are huge fans of Hack5. They're affordable, reliable. We've been using them for years. They've got all the tools you need to share your ideas with the world. And because they're such big fans, they are hooking you up with 15% off their already affordable prices. So get domain names and web hosting and email, and just be sure to use that coupon code HAK5. So when you think domain names, think domain.com. We're gonna need a bigger podcast. Yeah. Okay, we got speed. What's that mean anyway? Speed is something that kills. Speed will kill you, my friend. I keep thinking I'm ready, I'm not ready to do this thing. Yo. It's all good. Need to just need this. Music in here.